Hello reformers and welcome to a let's play of Shock Tactics. Now I have no idea how many episodes there are going to be in this mini-series, I suppose it will be, I don't know, it depends how many people like it. But this might interest some of you because it is in the vein of XCOM with exploration elements. It actually has much more to do with exploration, but it does borrow a lot from XCOM's gameplay, like the, you know, turn-based combat tactical things and all kinds of strategic goodness to be found. Anyway, I, as you can see here, I haven't actually played this game yet before, but I thought it might, might be a nice idea, considering if I could actually speak, considering it's actually coming out on April 11th. It is coming out on April 11th, and if you would like to check out the Steam store page, then that will be in the description below the video. So if you want to check that out, then by all means. Otherwise, let's create a new game and hello. <laughs> oh yes, we've got some wonderful difficulties here. But as everyone knows, I've completed all of the XCOMs on the highest difficulty in Long War as well as Long War 2. I'm completely joking and kidding about all that stuff because I have never played Long War and I've also only played on Medium. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you're new to the turn-based tactical, no, no, this difficulty is for experience tech. Where's easy? I mean, yeah, this, I guess this is easy. Content tourist. That's what they call it? Wow, that's a, that's a bit sad, isn't it? All right, well, never mind. If you love to charge into certain death, that difficulty is just for you. I know there are a lot of try-hard people out there, so I suppose legendary would be the way to go for you. Anyway, I'm going to be going for medium because that seems like a pretty decent, balanced sort of experience. I don't want to get steamrolled, but I also don't want to steamroll too easily. So... Medium will be it. We all wanted to take a look at this new world and gathered by the windows as we watched the orbit of Hephaest. All our intel told us that the planet was inhabited by baser life forms, but would be hostile toward humans. As we made our descent, I couldn't help but be in awe of its beauty. It was undoubtedly dangerous, but in its own way, beautiful. Hephaest was a great fight for humanity. I would say the most important one in recent history. We learned so much about the universe and life, it was like discovering the birthplace of our galaxy. I was on the first ship that landed, and I tell you what, this place is harsh. Forget your helmet one time and you're done in under a minute. You did not want to go outside unless you had to. <laughs> I'm talking about caustic storms, toxic gas, fire, and lightning strikes. Oh yeah, Cap's first mission. I can remember that one like it was yesterday. I was supposed to find a location in the center of the sector to conduct my research. I traveled with a team of mercs and an ATV. Our job was to scout out the territory first, and then set up a camp and wait for late arrivals to come in and bulk up our ranks. Anyway, we made it about halfway, then we got attacked by some crawlers. Ignatius was one of our few tech specialists. He was going to work as a mechanic and researcher in the same sector Cap was in. We sent him out with a large Merc team and an ATV for transporting his equipment. Cap's team and a few others were to meet up with him at the camp and then move out from there. The local aliens, the crawlers, had been making our existence there extremely difficult. They attacked and completely immobilized Ignatius and his team, forcing Cap into a rescue with a one-man team. All right, well, there you go. There's the small little prologue there. I should also mention that the version I'm currently playing on is a pre-release version, so there are going to be a couple of bugs and maybe some things that are a little bit rough around the edges. So just to let you know that if we do encounter something like that, that's probably going to be fixed for the final version. Anyway, I am you know, on first impressions. As I've said, I have not played this game before, but on first impressions, I'm a little bit shall we say, undecided about the voice acting so far. I can't actually comment myself because obviously I have only done very sparse, you know, game trailers and things, voiceovers and stuff like that, but uh, I think Ignatius is okay, but I feel like Operator, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't really criticize, can I? I can't really criticize too much. I feel like that's a bit, it's a bit mean, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. Let's start the mission. And we're going to go and see what the crawlers are all about. I'm kind of interested to see. The game actually looks reasonably good so far as well, in terms of graphical fidelity. 
Yes, I know that. Thank you very much. And every action costs AP. Yeah, thank you. I, yeah, this is very much, as you can see, XCOM, isn't it? Look at it. Very, very much XCOM. And I think that's a good thing. Isn't that a good thing? I think that is a good thing, considering a lot of people love XCOM. And this is a bit of a different take on that. We're going to see how well it does, though. So, yes, I have to move to the marked location. Well, that's easy enough, isn't it? Oh, right. Okay, so this is obviously an action point style, shall we say, turn-based strategy, whereas XCOM, you get two action moves or action points, I suppose you could say, and once you use one of those, then you only get one more after that. Whereas with this, it seems to be a little bit different where you can actually move one field at a time and it will just take up a various amount of your action points. So as you can see here, I think these are my action points down here, that little bar there that goes from minus 23 or minus 50% to plus 30 by the looks of things. So yeah, plus 50 even. So that's obviously way too far away, but we can move one step ahead. If I can do that, there we go. Yes, and there we go. We can sprint there as well. Then the enemy turn begins. All right. Well, that seems pretty reasonable so far. I actually quite like that because if you make a mistake, I know there's there's many times in XCOM when you're just like, oh, okay, can I move here? And then you move there, and then it turns out that you're not in cover or something along those lines, and then you get absolutely destroyed. But in this, it seems to be a little bit more forgiving, I suppose. Ah, that's also very nice. Look at that. So if our character discovers something, then he just stops automatically and we can then decide what to do next. Obviously, that is making things a little bit more forgiving because in XCOM, it's not like that. It is, of course, going to allow you to run into enemies. And if you run into enemies and you're right next to a muton, for example, then tough luck. Tough luck. You're just going to get absolutely murdered. So, yeah, I guess that that's a little bit nicer about this. Anyway, cover is visible. Yes, object can provide good cover, bad cover, or none at all. Yeah, of course. Okay, so now we can go here, and then we can actually shoot this thing, I suppose. Ah, right, okay, so attacking always consumes all of the action points, so that's good to know, because, you know, you, you, you want to know to be able to sort of plan ahead, because if you shoot this, you're not going to be able to move, are you? You're not going to be able to move after it. But maybe some skills and abilities in the future are going to be able to give us that. Who knows? Yeah, okay, I get that. Maybe I should turn... Should I turn off the tutorial right now? Should I turn that off? I actually don't even need that, to be honest. Because it seems like it's not really giving me anything I don't already know. And I already have the story objectives up there, so I kind of know what to do. And they're already telling me from here what I need to do. So let's just go up there. And we're still technically flanked, but I, I guess that's okay. Oh, I'm still being told, even though I've turned off the tutorial. Well, that's nice. Mandatory tutorials. I'm not I'm not a big fan of those. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's see. So, yes, tab cycles targets. Okay, so we're just going to attack that. There we go. Oh, well, Cap is obviously a very, very powerful individual by the looks of things. Okay, so we're going to move over there. So we had a minute to breathe, and I told him to watch my back so I could fix the ATV and we could get out of there. Right, okay, so yeah, the one thing I've also noticed is that the voice acting is, is not normalized. It seems like the volume of the voice acting is varying quite a bit so you know maybe that's going to be fixed as well in the final release hopefully it is and that, that is obviously just a quality of life thing but and, and a bit of a nitpick but it does make things a little bit easier to understand because the music is obviously the same volume all the way through all right so what do i do now what do i what do i actually do now do i just go to the next the next turn or i'm just going to go into cover there you go ah that's much better yes me going into cover was probably a good idea. Obviously, these things, these crawlers, they don't have weapons. So it's highly unlikely that I'm going to be able to die here. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be dying anytime soon. Should I move over there? I think I'm going to move over here. See if I can get a better shot. 
Yeah, 58%. I guess that's good enough, isn't it? Ooh, damage. We have so much damage. And it is actually proving that we are a little bit more powerful than we are when you first start off in XCOM. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a lot of comparisons with XCOM because obviously this is very much inspired by it. And yeah, I think it's only natural to assume that there's gonna be a bunch of comparisons to make against it. Anyway. So far, I'm actually liking the fact that we are that powerful. We don't seem to be missing. They don't seem to be giving us too much RNGBS, because there is a lot of that in XCOM. Are we Cap? Are we actually Cap? I, I, I don't even know. I mean, it seems like we are. Okay, left click on a character to select them alternatively. Yes, okay. Okay. Ah, right. Okay, so who do we have here? We actually have Dane, who is Ace, and we also have Bunker. Oh, well, I, I very much hope that we're able to get out of here, but yes, it seems like we have Ace and Bunker, and that is all we have, so that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to stay here, I guess. End the turn only for this soldier, and what is that? End turn. Okay, so I'm just going to end the turn in general. Can I Can I do that? There you go. I actually don't know the hotkey for that. I'm going to have to find that out, but anyway. Do I have to continue moving forward? Maybe I have to continue moving forward. Okay, so I'm going to go over there. We are still in cover, technically, even though cover literally does not matter, in my opinion. Let's see if a 38% chance is going to kill this. It does! Wow, okay, we're, we're getting pretty lucky here, then, I guess. Unless... It's just an automatic kill because this is the tutorial. Yes, or we can press space bar. Yeah, of course. Okay, 25% chance. Let's try that. Okay, there you go. So at 25% chance, it makes it a little bit more difficult. I would expect the difficulty to scale and maybe to make it a little bit more difficult to hit enemies. So that would that's actually uh, that's pretty good. So if you if you do, you might want to play on a harder difficulty than I am right now. And there is a lot of enemies. There is certainly a lot of enemies. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to try and kill the 49%. And can I can I actually use something else here? He's using the same kind of weapon. Can I can I not have uh, I I really want a grenade right now. I'd love to have a grenade right now, but it seems like I'm unable to get one of those. We do seem to take a little bit more damage than the soldiers in XCOM as well, but I suppose that's the thing. Like how easy do you want the game to be? How difficult do you want it to be? I mean, XCOM obviously is wanting it to be very punishing. Whenever you would make a mistake, they want you to feel it. You know, they want you to make sure that you consider all kinds of strategies. Whereas with this, it seems obviously this is the tutorial and they want you to obviously have a pretty simple and easy time of getting used to the game mechanics if you are completely new to this kind of thing. Obviously, I'm not very new to it. I have played through XCOM Enemy Unknown, failed in a single player campaign on that, but then I played through the entirety of M Enemy Within and that worked absolutely fine. So, yeah, it's... I don't really need to be told all this, but I suppose, yeah, I, I kind of did... Yeah, I, I, well, I, I suppose what I'm going to do now, actually, is I'm probably going to cut away until we get to somewhere a little bit more interesting, because obviously we're just attacking these crawler things. Alright, so it seems like we are actually able to leave now. So, yeah, as you can see, we just have to end the turn. And I think that is going to be it. Yep, there you go. We can now extract. Get away from there. They drove the rest of the day until they reached their actual destination. Uh, thank you. Alright, okay, yeah, it is a mixed bag. The The voice acting is very, very mixed. Okay, well, anyway, as you can see, we do have a bunch of things here, and we... Whoa, it seems like Dane has a lot less HP than Bunker. We gained a thousand credits as a result of that as well. We knew we weren't the only ones heading for Hefest and a piece of the pie. This new world was without law or leader, and it was rich in rare resources. So of course there was an interest, and we knew we'd have competition. It wasn't long after setting foot on the new world that we saw a small craft dropping near what would be Cap Sector. It carried about 20 men. 
carried about 20 men. Oh, 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 I see. So now we actually fight something other than aliens, but I suppose the aliens are also going to be interrupting our operations. Let's see whether that's the case. The interesting part of this contract was the strange monolith they stumbled on. When I saw it for the first time, I knew it had some kind of power. It looked odd and out of place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. But as you could see, we have Hail of Bullets. We actually do have an ability here, so that's really nice. Now, this also does have a cooldown of 10 turns. Is that 10 turns? Am I reading that correctly? I think I might be. And we also have Stabilize and Warp Out. Stabilize an ally on an adjacent tile and warp them out of combat to save them. All right, so we do have a revive with Bunker there. Seems everyone has the ability to actually revive others, which is very nice. Also, we do have Overwatch... Obviously a very much very much an XCOM thing. And we have a bunch of other abilities as well, like Ignatius right here. He can hack a secure terminal. And we also have Honor. Grants a 20% aim bonus for each enemy in direct line of sight. Lasts for one turn. And that costs zero action points. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so we're going to start moving. Aha! Okay, so we already have view on one of these guys here. I think I'm probably just going to continue moving to him. And then we have a 45% chance. I think that's pretty decent. But we're also... Are we flanked? It, it looks like we're flanked with... Unless he's just out... I think he's just out of out of cover, to be honest. So let's just move him over here. And I'm going to just shoot him to begin with. There's actually two of them, hilariously enough. Oh yeah, nice, nice. I actually like the sound assets a lot of the guns. I feel like the guns are very, very powerful. They feel powerful, at least. Or sound powerful at the very least. So that's pretty nice. I like that a lot. Let's move Ignatius over here. Get him into full cover. I don't really want him to die. And now we have a 38% chance. I suppose it would probably be logical to assume that we... There we go. Phew. Yeah, we did actually get a kill on that. That's pretty nice. Okay. So we can now end the turn. Find a list of objectives in the upper left corner of the screen. Main objectives and sub-objectives are vital to the success of the mission. Side objectives are optional. Ah, thank you very much. We discovered the rest of the pirates standing around a peculiar object on the ground. They noticed us and spread out for cover, but still stayed close, as if they wanted to protect the object. Oh, I see. It's very much Dead Space-esque, it seems. Ah, lovely. We actually have our sniper now. It seems we've been given a sniper. Thank you very much. Okay, so where is where is the monolith? I'm pretty sure it was over in this direction, wasn't it? Am I am I absolutely messing it up now? No, it seems like we cannot even go back here. So, yeah, I think we probably can, but probably don't want to. Anyway, let's go for Overwatch with him. Uh or actually no. It it doesn't even it's not even really necessary. Let's just sprint over there. Move to the marked location. Oh, that's what I had to do. Oh, great. Okay. Ah, yes. Outside your field of view. Blue markers indicate mission objectives. Every action of a character costs action points. Okay. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to absolutely turn down the voices right now. Yeah, that that, that is that is pretty bad of me to do for the voice acting and things. But for the tutorial, that's what I'm going to do. Because the tutorial person, I don't really need. So... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so is there anyone else that can move? Yes, Ignatius can move over here as well. Can't really move over there, though. So I guess we're just going to move him here, but we're going to need to move someone else. So let's move Dane over there. Everybody must survive. Well, they're putting the pressure on me, aren't you? Very nice. Okay, let's go for an Overwatch. Can we go for an Overwatch right here? No, I don't have enough AP for that, do I? Yeah, you need 10 AP for it. Don't think I do. I'd like to see a little bit more of a clearer indication of the AP that I actually have at the moment. Uh, and also we gain experience for kills and accomplished missions. Leveling up unlocks new abilities and increases the basic stats. Use your character's special abilities by selecting them. And yes, that's absolutely fine. I, I really do appreciate the fact that they've given us new abilities already. That's pretty nice. So let's continue to move down here. I'd like to get someone up top, though. So who is... Yeah, he's not the sniper, so we don't really need to worry about him. But I'm going to go over here. 
There we go. Okay, so we already have someone over there. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so here's our sniper. Can he see that guy yet? I don't think he can. Well, that's a bit of a shame, but that's okay. Can we get up here? I don't think we can. But we can go into cover over this way. Yeah, we still can't see him. That's actually pretty sad. Okay, we still can't see that guy. I guess we'll just move over here as well and get that guy here. There we go. And maybe we can get up there. We might actually be able to get a shot on him. Yeah, I think we can. 9% Nine, <laughs> 9 on that guy over there. Okay. Shall I try it? Nah, I'm not going to try it. 9% is just absolutely stupid in my opinion. So we're just going to go into Overwatch instead. And we're going to go into Overwatch with this. Can we not? Do I not have enough? Do I not have enough AP for that? It doesn't seem like I have enough. I mean, what, is the, what does this bar mean? That's the thing. What do these bars mean? I, do, I think I don't have enough. I mean, I barely have enough to go 2 AP. So, obviously, I don't have enough. But i just like to know in a, a value, in a certain... Ooh, in a certain number value. Look at that. Look at lovely Overwatch shot right there. Killed him. Buffs and debuffs on a character appear above the hit point bar. Ah, okay, yeah. Above the hit point bar. Okay. 1%. Yeah, yeah. It seems like everything is firmly in our control, shall we say. So I'm pretty happy with that, even though it is going to make things relatively easy. It's it's nice to actually have an idea of what we're doing first. Okay, so 20% chance. I'm going to take the 20%. He's a sniper, isn't he? Yeah, should not have taken the 20% with a sniper. I actually thought I was with someone else there, but okay. Shall I? I'm going to go for Overwatch again. And we don't have any kind of view on these guys. I can go up here, but I feel like that's probably not the best idea. Instead, I'm actually going to go over this way. There we go. And we have 16% and 9%. I'm just going to go Overwatch. And I think I'll move someone up here. And he has no view whatsoever. What is he actually using? He's using the exact same weapon by the looks of things, but doesn't seem to have a good amount of action points. I wish someone would move. Can they, can you move? Yeah, there we go. Uh, did, did one of us get killed when a soldier was severely injured? Send another soldier to perform first aid and prevent them from bleeding to death. To focus the cam uh, camera on a character, double-click on their portrait. Yeah, well, obviously, that's the thing. I actually don't even need to do that right now, but maybe they're expecting one of our characters to die. Which could be the case. Everything not in your team's line of sight stays hidden within the fog of war. To switch weapons, click on the weapon, switch icon, or press X. Alright, well, yeah, I don't actually need to do that right now, do I? I don't think I need to. I mean, what what, what, what do they have? I, I'm pressing X, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to have another weapon, so I suppose I can just leave that. So, if I can move around the side here, can snipers actually fire on the same turn as moving? Because obviously in XCOM they can't, but it seems like in this they can. So that's nice, I like that. Enemy reinforcements are indicated on the list of objectives. They arrive when the timer has counted down. All oh, right, so we have a, we have reinforcements to worry about. And we can also toggle the invisibility of roofs by pressing R. Aha, uh -huh. enemy reinforcements are in one turn. Okay. Cap ordered the team to run down every last pirate in the area. Okay, yeah, well, we're going to do that. I went for the object and pick it up, and it felt heavy in my hands, pulsating as if it was alive. All right. We need to go over there, as you can see. All right, so what is this? Ah, lovely. Okay, so we have a 0% chance to hit both of those with that ability. That's kind of a shame. I actually would have liked to have used it, but I suppose we'll just move a little bit closer to them anyway. And can I use that now? Can I, can I get... No, 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 I can't. And yeah, I need to cancel that. All right. So is there any other way that I can do this? Seems probably not. I could move over here, I suppose. And this guy is a little bit damaged, but we can still move into full cover, so that's pretty good. And do I still not have the opportunity to do that? It seems I still do not. Weird. Alright. Well, I'm just going to go into Overwatch then. He's going to go into Overwatch. Hopefully these guys are going to move. Yep, they are going to move. Very, very badly, actually. <laughs> that was hilarious. I really like it when the AI is is like that. I mean, obviously in XCOM, they're, they're going to be a little bit more stubborn and a little bit more annoying to deal with. But for the most part, I'm actually kind of happy that the AI in this game does not, you know, have the stubborn streak. 
that the XCOM AI AI does. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not saying anything against XCOM by the way. So if you're if you're if you're a huge fan of XCOM, then obviously don't take that personally because I do like XCOM a lot, and that's exactly the reason why this game stood out to me because it's very much XCOM like, and I thought. Maybe if it has a couple of things that I don't particularly like about XCOM, you know, most most importantly the RNG kind of style of things, then yeah, it's actually kind of nice to see a little bit of a change there. So we're going to go for an attack here. Oh yeah, lovely. And I, I don't even know. Do I even need to be in cover here? Uh, can I can I shoot him? I am not within range, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, well, Overwatch is going to have to do. And he's going to move a little bit forward here. Yeah, they have no chance whatsoever. I'm going to actually kill these guys. I'm going to kill this guy with this one. I like the sniper rifle quite a lot. I like how it shoots. It's, it's It shoots like a silent sniper rifle or something, like a suppressed sniper rifle. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to go in and see what the monolith has for us. I brought it back to the ATV for safekeeping. Is that it? Is, was that it? Okay. When I pass the monolith... The thing started to vibrate. A low sound seemed to come from below ground. It reverberated through the monolith and pressed heavy on my chest. There was no doubt that the monolith interacted with this artifact in my hands. I told Cap that this was exactly the reason. I signed up for this mission and that I wanted to build our base right there. Oh yeah, by the way, this game has base building. Yeah, I should have actually mentioned that earlier, but it does have base building. Alright, so everyone must survive, so now we must go over here, back to the ATV. Do we need to go back to the ATV, or... Or is, is that it, or... I actually... I am actually unaware of where I need to go. I suppose I, I do need to go back to the ATV, I would assume, right? Well, I guess... I guess so. Let's try and do that then, shall we? Or should I just end the turn? Let's just end the turn and actually see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Ending the turn actually made a difference. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. All right, well, there you go. That is actually... I'm actually really enjoying this. And I don't know whether it's because it's easy or whether it's because I'm actually getting, like, really, really nice kills and, and things. But obviously the AI is going to be pretty easy nowadays because it's the tutorial still. But yeah, there is actually a base building element. Maybe we'll get to see that. And there you go. So this is the world map, and this is exactly what I meant with the base. You can actually get into some base building, and this is also the world map. So you travel around the world map like this, and it takes a variety of different days to arrive at at that location. And as you can see, IC arrives in 137 turns. So there's also a little bit of a timer-based thing going on. So. I personally am really enjoying this. I am probably going to be doing another episode, maybe a couple of episodes on this, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then hit some buttons. If you liked it, then like it. If you disliked it, then disliked it. And everything helps. All feedback helps, so give me some comments, what you liked, what you didn't like, and we'll see where we go from there. Also, don't forget to check out the link in the description to the game's store page. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.